So what did you want to tell me about? Oh, um... Well, I, I don't think it's going to make you feel any better. There's an item in one of the Philadelphia newspapers. It's about Dorian Lord. I thought you might want to see it. Oh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. You're welcome. I hope you feel better. In an apparent effort to put more distance between herself and her mother. Oh, Dorian, what have you done now? I can change. Well, you change. I can. Well, you get up off the floor. Okay, but I can't change. How I stupid really... do really do you think I am? I don't think you're stupid. Well, how many times am I going to buy this line? I'm. Gonna... Dealing con artists like you, especially one that owes me forty thousand dollars. Dorian, why do you always suspect the worst of me? It just so happened I brought you the money I owe you. Oh, really? Please, a check? <laughs> It'll probably bounce like a basketball. You are a fraud. I've had enough frauds in my life. Get out. Something's happened. Cassie, did you have a fight with your daughter? Dorian, will you talk to me? Believe what you want, but I really can help you. Oh, really? <laughs> How can you help me? How can you possibly? Oh, why not? <laughs> All right. Preacher Holiday, the great faith healer. Heal this. Jason left me today. Oh, Dorian, I'm... I'm sorry. I don't want your sympathy. I want the cure. Yes. You helped cure me when I had my cancer scare, didn't you? Okay. My life is ruined. Certainly my reputation is. <laughs> Thanks to Sloane Carpenter and the hideous lies he tells about me in his filthy, disgusting book. Thanks to that book, I have lost my lover. And my daughter thinks... No. My daughter believes that I'm a cold-blooded murderer. But you told her, you explained I her. have tried to explain to her. I was trying to explain to her at, at Vicky's party for Sloane's book. But she pushed me away from her. She fell down the stairs. And now, of course, I'm being blamed for that, too. Oh, Dorian. Oh. I wouldn't care what anybody in this whole town thought about me, no. But I do care about Cassie. And now she's afraid of me. She won't even let me near her. I have to admit, I heard about the book party. But I also heard that Cassie and the baby, they're doing just fine. Well, I'm not fine. Okay? I dealt with my cancer. And I will deal with Jason leaving me. But Cassie... $40,000. Everybody says that all Dorian Lord cares about is money. That's why she married Victor Lord. That's why she killed him. Money. Money, 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 money. But it's not true. I would give every dollar that I have if only my daughter would forgive me. If only those gossips could see you as I do. If only we could find a way to convince Cassie of the generous, warm-hearted woman you really are. Cut the bull. Really, I could puke. Dorian, I am totally sincere. Of course you are. My goodness, I could see those tears coming down your cheeks as you watched your check being torn to little pieces. Please. Unlike me. <laughs> the only thing you do worship is money. 
That is not true. I have had to struggle my whole life. Now, maybe I have been ruthless at times, but I do have a heart. Really? Where do you keep it? In your strong box back at the tabernacle? Please. You have been on the grift so long that you've forgotten how real people feel. Their pain, their sorrow, how they suffer. Don't you dare tell me what I feel and what I don't. You want to know about pain and loss? Well, I wrote the book on it, baby. So back off! Mm -hmm. You cornered the market on heartache? You think that you're the only one that lost the love of their life? A love so strong that it eats away at your soul every day and every night and even in your dreams. Oh, I struck a nerve. I'm so sorry. No, you didn't just strike it. You stomped all over it, the same way you run roughshod over anyone who ever tries to get close to you. Look, I said I was sorry, okay? Now, who was this uh, someone that you lost? Someone in your uh, family, some man, hmm? Not just some man. The only man I ever loved and probably ever will. And now I have to live with the pain of losing him for the rest of my life. You satisfied? Excuse me, I thought my life was the one that was falling apart. So, who was this man? Tell me about him. It was ages ago, a lifetime. I, um, I was living with my grandmother back in Texas. And she, she had borders and, well, I was used to them. The smell of their cologne, their scuffed shoes, whiskey breath. And then one day she took in a new border. He was different. Handsome. Devastating. Mm -hmm. There was something wild about him, something exciting. Not just because he was so young, but because he was experienced. One night we were making ice cream on the porch and uh, he told me how he'd worked the carnivals, how he'd acted in summer stock, how he became a professional con artist even how he'd done hard time in prison. Mm -hmm. And um, I was shocked, of course. And a little turned on. It was love at first sight. So the two of you made love. He was my first. And he was the best. Well, not that I knew about that at the time. He was everything that I had dreamed about there on my grandmother's porch. Not just as a lover, but as a way out. A way to the glamorous, exciting life that I knew was out there somewhere waiting for me. Mm. He had a good line. No, it wasn't just a line. We were wild for each other. He bought me my first fancy party dress. It was, um, <laughs> it was red taffeta. He wanted me to wear it when we ran away to New York on our honeymoon. Honeymoon? Yes, Dorian. He married me. He wanted me to see the big city through his eyes. <laughs> and he was true to his word. He planned the most romantic weekend at the poshest hotel in New York. Just for the two of us. You know, they say, you never forget your first kiss, the first time you make love. Your first husband. <laughs> he taught me everything that I know about life. The beautiful and the bad. Oh, oh, I can testify to the bad. You did a really good job of conning me out of that $50,000. And I'm not an easy mark. <laughs> or am I? Everybody was easy for him. He had the touch. Mm -hmm. Men like that are memorable. 
That's what made it so fun. No, no, it wasn't fun, really. It was... Well, it was everything. It was great danger, great reward. Great sex. Love. Oh, please. Why do we women always have to call it love? When men are content to just say no, it was a I great... loved him and he loved me. That was not a con, Dorian. No matter what anyone else in the world says about him, I know. I know deep down that he is a gentle, caring, loving man. Really, if he's so loving, why are you alone? 